First to review of Descenders, a free monthly PlayStation game for May. This one only has a PS4 version, which isn't a big detractor. Graphics and the overall aesthetic aren't super crucial to how this game plays, and certainly wasn't a focus. Something that is a focal point <laughs> is freedom. For a downhill cycling game, you're kind of free to do whatever, and it doesn't push you in any direction. The speed at which you complete courses, whether you stay on the path or not, how stylish you are when you play, all of these elements are really up to you and not something that you have to focus on. And on one hand, it's kind of nice that you can customize the game to be able to play how you want to. However, each of these elements only really becomes very satisfying and impressive when you do them with the constraints of those other elements. And they're not really being stakes for doing something too slowly or really going off of the path. It can feel unnatural, like you're chew eating the game and yourself, and that it's pushing you to a mode of play that's most optimal and also the least fun. Because what's rewarded in this game is progression and completion and not dying or failing. Which would lead you to playing things Qantas, going the easy route. If I was smart, I would just go around. Oh! Even if it takes long, even if you're not doing stuff that's cool. But what's the point of freedom if you're not doing cool shit with it? So when you're like me, and you're in an internal mind state of Fuck caution, baby! And you're trying to go as fast as you possibly can, or you're trying to do really difficult tricks you don't know if you're gonna pull off, that's when you get punished. Because you're going through this competitive campaign where your lives carry over from course to course. So if you're trying some wild things and failed a couple times in a level, those mistakes will carry over, and once you lose your lives, you're reset all the way to the start. This is so punishing for a new player, and preventing and penalizing them for trying new things is the worst thing that you can do when trying to bring them into the game world. So you're just stuck in this dull hillside landscape without getting much of an environment change until you decide, all right, I'm gonna just play this boring. Enough of having fun and trying that crazy shit, let's do the least risky things we can, and let's get this done. That's not what you should be pushing for as a game. You should be pushing for the player pushing themselves. I sure as fuck am not gonna be on them. So these moments where the game feels best is also the most discouraged in the overall scheme of advancing through the game. So lives carrying over cramps creativity with its continuous consequences until you cast yourself into conformity and all the freedom you had ends up in you forcing yourself into something that's not all that fun. So obviously there's some structural struggles with progression, but there are some engaging aspects to the core of the game. My personal favorite moments are not as much on the style side, but the extreme speed, and when the game becomes a lot more reaction dependent, and also restrictive, because then it's so much more about a smooth execution of a challenge. And you can also compound this intense reactionary difficulty by switching to the anxiety inducing Tony Profane, <coughs> I mean, uh, first person view, which is a to lot to handle. Tony Profane. Oh! I also thought that the music was pretty cool and enjoyable, but it also lacks some variety and feels pretty repetitive as well, especially comparing the soundtrack of this game to some of the others I have covered in this series. So while I thought this game was pretty fun, with intuitive, satisfying, cycling feel, there wasn't a lot that made it feel like it was much more pleasant than some of the other games I've tried recently. Worth a try if you're better off re-watching every daily do, but not something special that you gotta go out of your way to prioritize. That's it for the first two review. Peace out. Oh, really? I feel like this is what you do if you want to feel anxious. Really anxious.